Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for whenever it resonates. So let's just see what comes up. What do we have for an upcoming message? What kind of message do I need to deliver today? Please bring me a clear message. <sighs> Two cups reversed. That's fun. So that's not working well together. There could be, you know, a fight, an argument between a couple, a uh, disagreement, uh, strife. Strife in a partnership. Okay, we have a partnership that is probably, uh, you know, there could be a fight. <laughs> could be a separation. This fight could lead to a separation. It doesn't look good. Things are upside down. Things aren't heading in the right direction. That's the for damn sure. So there's something going on here. We have a partnership that isn't, that is on the rocks. Okay, this partnership is on the rocks. There's some sort of disharmony or disconnection. And, if, and it, it could even be between friends. Whatever it is, it's some sort of argument, uh, disharmony, not, not working well together. Ooh, Ace of Wands reverse. So there's lack of growth. Uh, no passion, no desire. Somebody is, is losing their desire, they're losing their fire, you know, they don't, they don't have any desire to work with this person or communicate or even be with by the looks of things. There could be, there's definitely going to be a disconnection. Uh, something's going south and it feels like it's going south. It feels like it's going in a hurry. I don't, I don't know where that's coming from, but it feels like it's going south very, very fast. There's no passion in this connection. There's no attraction, perhaps. Eight of coins. Now that is, that is hard work. We have somebody here that works a lot. One person works, 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 and I think the other probably takes care of the house and the family or something like that. And it feels like one person is doing more work than the other. You may have an individual that is uh, not putting in their fair share. That's what it feels like to me. Somebody could be fighting, the, the fight or the argument could be over work, or it could be over money, or, you know, responsibilities. Now this is a, this is, the Two of Wands is, is a decision at a crossroads. Discontent. Uh, we definitely have an individual that is discontent, thinking about, you know, which way they should go. Do I even want to invest in this anymore? And which way should I go? It looks like, I, I feel like we have somebody here who's not very happy. Okay, this person doesn't look very happy at all. They're ready. It feels like we have somebody here that is ready for a change. They're ready for a change in direction. And they've been probably thinking about it for a while. It's probably thinking about it a lot while they work, you know. They could be planning in their head, you know, daydreaming. I think we do have somebody that has been daydreaming about something more, you know, than whatever partnership they're in now. Whether this is a work partnership or a love relationship, somebody is in a partnership where there's no growth, there's no attraction, there's no desire, there's no passion, and they're thinking about taking another path, okay? Another path is presented here. So it's been presented or it's about to be presented. So that's why this person is really thinking. They're thinking, 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 thinking. There's an opportunity to, to go down another road as we speak. Page of Wands reversed. But there's lack of courage and there could be some fear. 
there could be some fear here. We may have somebody here that is immature. This person is immature. They have a uh, self-image problem, maybe low self-esteem, low self-worth, something like that. We, could, we also have somebody here that is very undecided. They are confused. Um, doesn't have the ability to follow through with their desires. So somebody has these desires. They have these thoughts. They have these uh, plans, perhaps. It's almost like they've been thinking about it for a long time, but they don't have the courage Somebody doesn't have the courage, they don't have the strength, or they're not brave enough, you know, they just don't have the, they don't, they're not brave. We have somebody here that's uh, scared, it, just looks like, it looks like they're scared, they're scared to go down that unknown path. Um, we also have an individual in this reading that um, is negative, this is a negative Nelly, okay? Um, may see themselves as a victim, you know, very pessimistic. Um, so we have a very pessimistic individual here that probably likes to play it safe, you know, likes to, likes to, you know, even though there's no desire to be there, this is no life, put it that way. There's no, there's no life. There, there could, it could be stable, you know, it's working out because of the, for financial reasons, but that's the only reason. Okay. Um, somebody is presented with an opportunity as we speak to go down a new path, but they don't have the courage to do so. And they're really discontent that they can't. And I feel like this person is starting to disconnect and they're feeling, it, all, it feels like they're feeling, um, held down, weighed down, weighed down by a connection. You know, they, they want to go but they can't because of fear, because of fear, because of, uh, yeah, it's fear. Oh, there it is. Three of cups, third party situation. Um, there's definitely a choice. Absolutely. This is the choice, a choice. And maybe it's friends, maybe it's family. Somebody may, may be held back by friends or family. Um, or a third party. There is a third party here. Now, somebody's friends may be uh, leading them astray. It feels like somebody is being led astray by an individual that doesn't have anything good to say. This is, it's almost like it's, it's because... I see the third party. I feel like we have an individual here that ha doesn't have anything good to say, that is mean-spirited, that is uh, saying things that they don't know anything about. <laughs> but this is a needing to make a choice at the crossroads. A choice is presented. This is about happiness. It's about celebrating. It's about having fun. Somebody may be thinking about, you know... I don't know, having fun with somebody else, maybe even thinking about cheating. I mean, I don't know if they are cheating, but they're thinking about it. And and I don't know if it is even, if that's even your case, but they're thinking about uh, a reunion even. There could be a reunion here, because Three of Cups can be a reunion. It doesn't have to be. It could be a celebration. It could be about another person, you know, a third party. I do feel like there's definitely a third party here that is holding somebody back whether it's a family member or it's friends or a friend or a lover, you know, it's, it's a partnership that, that just, there's no, there's no attraction. There's no growth in the partnership either. Somebody is, needs to choose what's going to make them happy and they're struggling. They're struggling to choose happiness. And it's because of their own negative thinking. It's their own negativity. You know, they're being very pessimistic about the path ahead. There's an opportunity for happiness here, absolutely. But you have to choose the happy path and face your fears and disconnect from whoever it is that you're not passionate about, you know. Um, it's not going to be easy. It's going to take a lot of hard work. But if you can find the strength to do so, happiness will come. Hmm. 
So this is choosing happiness if you, you know, find your strength and your courage with somebody's not finding the strength. There's a negative Nelly here that doesn't have anything good to say that is weighing somebody down. Okay? Could be a fire sign. Doesn't have to be. Could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, but it doesn't have to be. There's definitely a level of confusion over a choice that needs to be made. This is also not good news. The Page of Wands reversed. It's bad news. It's a setback. This is somebody. This is failure to launch with both of these cards. So something has failed to launch. A love connection or a partnership or whether it's a working partnership or whatever. Something has failed to launch in the way that it was supposed to launch. You know? Now we have the moment of decision. Do you want to stay or do you want to go? There is an opportunity for happiness. We have an individual that is thinking about leaving. They are. They are. But they have a lot of... They have a lot of... Uh, I think they have some people that they are worried about what these people are going to say. You know? Page of coins reverse. Next to the page of wands reverse. We have somebody that doesn't, doesn't follow through. Doesn't doesn't like confrontation. Doesn't want to face confrontation. May have a hard time apologizing. May have a hard time starting over. Uh, there's a blockage. Somebody is blocking a golden opportunity. They're blocking a path to their own path to abundance. Somebody is blocking their own path. And it's because there's a lack of planning. You know, somebody has been planning, but they're not following through with the plan. Follow through with the plan. They may not have planned this, right? Or, you know, and now they've had plenty of time to think about it. I feel like we have somebody here that is uh, foolish with the with the page of wands reverse and the page of coins reverse. This is a slacker. Somebody that maybe maybe this person even lacks common sense. Doesn't want responsibility. Wants to play. Wants to have fun. Maybe that's why they're not making in the move that they want to make because they just want to play. They want to have fun. Maybe they want to have third parties or they want to. Whatever. We got somebody here that doesn't... This is lack of commitment with the page of coins reversed. Right next to the page of wands reversed. Definitely. No follow through. We have somebody here that... And it's because of... And I don't know if this, we have an individual that likes to party or likes constant attention. You know, this person just, you know, likes to have a lot of fun. So we have somebody here that may not be uh, wanting to be in a commitment. Maybe they want to they wanna have fun right now. You know, they just want to play. They want to play. Looks like that's what it looks like to me. Somebody wants to play. So I think that, that somebody is, is really thinking about... Maybe they played with somebody and now they're thinking about, you know, their next move. There's somebody's definitely thinking about their next move. Um, I think we have an individual that has a wandering eye. And there's a need to focus. And we have an individual here that is getting easily distracted or is being distracted right now. They're being distracted by another option. And, it's, and the reason they're, they are able to be distracted is because whoever they're with, they're not passionate about. Right? There's no, there's no oh, attraction there. Right? It may be financially stable, but looks like that's all there is. That's what it looks like to me. So I think we have somebody here that is choosing to stay in a passionless, uh, less than exciting partnership that, you know, pays off in some sort of stability arena, but brings nothing else to the table. And so this individual is uh, desiring to have a little fun. Um, three of Cups, that's that celebrating, having fun. There's friends here though too, so I feel like they're socializing. There could be somebody could be socializing on social media with another person, you know, and it doesn't have to be social media. Whatever. Social socializing could be in however you do it. Um, they could be socializing with somebody that they have no intention of 
committing to. Just got to be honest. Okay, it doesn't look like there's any kind of commitment here. Three of Wands. Now this is about preparation, a foresight, uh, an arrival of some sort. Something you've been waiting for is arriving. You know, somebody is has been waiting for something. Hoping and praying for the best. Probably thinking the grass is greener over there, you know, and it may be, it may be greener over there. I think we have an individual that is, I don't know, that, that Three of Cups could be a reunion. I don't know if somebody is hoping for a reunion. They're thinking about it, that's for damn sure. Very discontent. Something isn't making them happy where they're at. There's, this is no life. There's, uh... This is like a dead end. Somebody's on some dead end road. There's no, they're not getting anywhere. You know, there's no, uh, this is not very exciting, put it that way. But over here, there's definitely an opportunity. There's an opportunity to have some fun. This is what you've been waiting for. So, hmm. Now this is, this is a, t Three of Wands is about prepared, getting prepared for something. An arrival, there's an arrival, there is some sort of arrival, there's going to be some sort of happy, I don't know if it's a reunion or a celebration or somebody's been waiting, they've been waiting for this, they've been waiting for you know, this opportunity to be presented, and here it is. Here's, don't waste the opportunity. Hmm. Queen of Swords, Queen of Swords, and the Queen of Swords uh, needs to think fast. She's a, she, this is a fast thinker, very, very harsh sometimes, can be harsh, brash, to the point, very, very authentic. I think we have a Queen of Swords here who may have chosen to be independent. Typically, the Queen of Swords is very independent, uh, professional. Maybe could even be a professional speaker. Could be a lawyer, doctor, um, somebody in a professional pr pr profession. <laughs> you know, somebody does something, you know, professionally. Looks like there's some sort of communication, some sort of truth. So this 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 Queen of Swords may have communicated something, something about working together, maybe because of that Eight of Coins. There could be a new, there could be an offer. She may be making an offer. The Queen of Swords. She's very to the point, very sharp, very intelligent, very well read. Um, I feel like this is a very intense situation. Queen of Swords is intense. She's intense. Very, very intelligent. Logical. Somebody needs to use their head. They need to use their head. They need to be smart. I feel like that's what they're, they've been trying to do as well. They've been trying to use their head and not their heart. The Queen of Swords has some sort of well, that's the sort of power, the power, the truth. That is the truth, the power. The truth is that partnership is not compatible. There's no passion. It's just all about financial stability. She knows the Queen of Swords is very... Uh, intuitive. She is. Very in tune. But the Queen of Swords is also hard to love. And she's hard to love because she doesn't put up with any shit. She doesn't take any shit from anybody. She speaks her mind. So we have a Queen of Swords here who it has some sort of
information by the looks of things. Or she has the power. She has the power. That's the sort of power. She has all the power in her hands. She has some sort of information that she's been holding on to. Maybe she's been waiting. She's been waiting. I feel like this Queen of Swords has been waiting. And she's hard to love because uh, because of who she is. You know, she's she doesn't uh she don't lie. She don't play games. So mm -hmm. I feel like she's about to del it feels like she has some sort of information or she has some sort of truth in her hands. Very, very assertive as well. So we have a very in assertive individual who is definitely thinking, 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 thinking about their next move. Thinking about separating, thinking about going down another path. We And it's a male or a female. We definitely have an individual that is thinking about putting in effort into another option that they it feels like it just this option is here they don't want to lose it but there's somebody in the way whether it's a friend or a family member or a co-worker or money or there's something in the way there's some sort of setback definitely with these two cards there's a lack of communication somebody's not communicating well and it's because uh, maybe they don't feel like they're valuable enough or they don't feel like they're good enough. There's low self-esteem. There's low self-worth. Somebody needs to find their strength and their courage and their self-value to go down the path that's going to make them happy. It's not going to be easy, but you need to honor your truth. Good luck. 